Is there anything that people want to talk to you about that you're like, I don't have those answers? Cooking. <laughs> I'm Nina Melendez, and this is a show about what's behind success and setbacks, all while making a sandwich. So tell me what sandwich we're making today. I don't know the actual name of it, but okay. there's vegetables and hummus. It's, it's vegan. Okay, cool. I'm a vegan person. Maybe we'll come up with a name at some point during the show for it. Okay. So I'll start with the cucumbers. Me to do a tomato? Yeah. So Tig, yes. stand up. Did you have a moment where you like told a joke at the dinner table and everyone laughed and you were like, I could do this for my life? I remember my friend's mother said to my friend, when I was in seventh grade, she said, oh, Tig could be a comedian. And I remember feeling like somebody sees me. Was there a point in your comedy where you realized you could just sort of be unapologetically yourself regardless of whether people totally grasped your humor? Was that <laughs> tough or did you just not care? It's part of comedy is sometimes people don't laugh. Mm. And I remember when I was doing open mics in the earlier days, in the first year, I remember feeling very excited that I had had a show where I bombed and it didn't destroy me. Mm. I think something that's pretty unique about you is you've had several brushes with your mortality in ways that many people haven't. Did that impact what you found funny in life? I think that it was already in there in me. And so it was helpful with those brushes. I watched and really loved your show, One Mississippi. It's a comedy about grief, which I think is an, initially sounds like an oxymoron. But when I watched it, I would say that I like never laughed and cried so hard simultaneously yeah. during a series. What did you learn from that experience and taking on a project like that? What I learned is that what I write in the writer's room, I'm going to have to act mm. on set, and I forgot that. Uh -huh. So I would like get caught up in scenes and topics and, and I'd be like oh and then this will happen and it'll be really emotional and then this and that and then and then uh, I was on set and thinking oh no I have to do these scenes. So do you like your slices thicker on the thicker side or thinner side? I like them thinner but I also I would eat a thick piece of bread too. But now we need the hummus. Well, this is this is where I have a bit of a treat for you. Oh. We're gonna make our own. That was the treat? <laughs> wow, I thought Oprah was gonna be here or something. That's where my head goes immediately when somebody's like, we have a special surprise. I'm it's like, Oprah? oh my gosh, Oprah's here. <laughs> so we can do one clove of garlic, we can do two cloves. I love garlic. Really? Um, like love, yeah. love? I, I do. I'm being interviewed tonight, so maybe I'll run my interviewer off. Okay, that's, that's, that's just, their problem. Okay, I see three. And then olive oil. I mean, I now I feel a little self-conscious because I don't really know how to make hummus. Why do you have a cooking show? <laughs> this isn't a cooking show. It's an interview show about careers. <laughs> salt. Okay. There's garlic in there. Oh my gosh. It's very liquidy. Yeah, but I'm also very excited to eat this. See, I told you it's not, it's no Oprah, but it's... No, it's not Oprah. <laughs> Is there a character trait about you that you would say really con has contributed to your success? Some idiosyncratic trait about Tig Nataro? Awkward? Well, yeah, you are awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I sure am. All right. Here we go. We've got cucumber, okay. lettuce. I'm going to put lettuce. Lettuce first. That's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do the cucumbers first. If you could do any role, mm -hmm. any or take on any project, yeah. what would it be? Sometimes I fantasize about being a talk show host, which I've had you know, potential opportunities to do and maybe coming up. That kind of excites me. Tig, look at how neat yours is. Look at mine. Well, again, why do you have a cooking show? <laughs> I 
Uh, oh, this is not working. How is it? I like it a lot. Oh, that is garlicky. <laughs> That's so good. It's really good. Yeah. It's very fresh. Before I let you go, Tig. Yeah. Well, I'm going to stand here and finish Oh, this. keep eating. What's something that really excites you next? I'm looking forward to just these movies that my, my wife has written and she's directing that I'm going to be in, um, that we're producing together. And so I'm very excited to, we love working together. If you need a caterer for any of those projects, you mm. know who to call. Tig, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for making a sandwich with me. Thanks for having me. This hummus is really good. Just I feel okay. like I feel like it's the weakest link, to be honest. <laughs> no, really? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because it needed more chickpeas. Well, because it's like uh, <laughs> water. I would call this sandwich. It's not Oprah. Okay. Trust me, the hummus was a surprise. Okay. Good. Just in a okay. very different way. Well, you know, you, but you know how to make it. You just have. No, to... I don't. <laughs> but you see how simple it was. No. <laughs> it's on, still babe. not made. Well, how does this show end? It has ended too. Oh, it did.